Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. I'm never starting a podcast that way again. That I liked it. You liked it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you guys all like it? Yeah, it was fun. That yeah. should be your new intro. Yeah. It, oh, maybe it, maybe I'm reconsidering it. It maybe. kind of reminds me of like Chandler from Friends, though. So I don't know if you're bada bing, bada boom, something like that. That's probably my favorite With Friends the character. With finger guns too. I yeah. Like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Wow, you just are like you just became a new person. Honestly, like I feel like I became like a corny guy who tells dad <laughs> jokes way too frequently. Uh, I feel like I am that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely that guy. There's nothing wrong with the dad joke though. No. It's all, the it's all jokes, necessary honestly. sometimes. What? They're the best jokes, honestly. Uh, and like maybe. puns. Like dry humor. Oh, uh, dry humor. Like I good. think you should leave. Those are all dad jokes. Yeah. That's true. There's this show Dry on humor, Net- anti jokes, too. Yes, anti jokes are the best. There's a show <laughs> on Netflix called I Think You Should Leave. And it's probably one of the funniest shows out there. And there I, each it's episode's so only like 10 minutes long. So you can blow through the whole season in less than two hours. Oh, wow. It's great. Yeah. We watched I think it like you should leave. Yeah. What's the premise? <laughs> Literally nothing. Yeah, there's no, like... Like, the very first scene is this guy who, like, is leaving a job interview, and he, like, is leaving, and he's pulling open the door, and then he's the guy who's interviewing, he's like, oh, I think it's a push door. He's like, no, it goes both ways. And so he's just, like, they're pulling this push door until, like, the hinges fall out. And it's just like and that. It, he wants to make a good impression on the guy, so he just continues to pull it, and he's like sweating and drooling all over the place and then the door finally like gives and He's he like, walks out told you it goes both ways <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's just like stupid stuff like that okay like yeah. little skits yeah, yeah. It's, it's all like, snl it's, yeah it's, yeah it's all snl people oh really so then, like, like andy sandberg's on it so like you know how He's legend, it. legend. Yeah. they joke around about like uh girls on instagram and whatnot and how like they'll post something and be like out at, out at brunch with my bitches that's like the second skit was like the two girls they take like a picture like all together at the table and they're like out at, out at lunch with these two hoes or something like that and then she's like she takes pictures and was like uh what she said like, like drinking pig dicks with these guzzlers and stuff like <laughs> yeah. that it was so stupid yeah it was just like she went and took it over the top and she's like like what? a whole like novel of just like yeah. saying repulsive things yeah. drinking pig dicks with these guzzlers <laughs> <laughs> yeah like she said slobbing pig dicks with these fat fucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I tagged funny. you both. <laughs> you guys should make that an Instagram caption sometime. Yeah. And then whoever gets it, like if you know, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't think anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. think it, no one knows it. So. Except for the people that we've shown. Yeah. <laughs> and half of them are like, yeah, this is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Literally almost no one's thought it was funny besides, like, me and maybe two other people. But, like, everyone needs to watch no, this. Joe thought it was funny. Joe did think it was funny. I and love skit humor, yeah. so I'd, I'd probably what, enjoy what it. What is this on again? Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. It's funny because it sounds like it would be on YouTube. And mm-hmm. it's kind of, like, just exactly what they do on YouTube, but on Netflix. Yeah. That's for good. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. It sounds like uh, just a normal YouTuber, right? Yeah. Because that's literally all YouTube is, is just, like, exacerbating situations that people already do and making them funny. True. Jimmy Tatro. Real bros of Simi Valley. Go. Yes, you yes. get it. So okay, you wait, get yeah, it. no, okay, I get it now. Yeah, that's blown up. Mm-hmm. Smart. He's in, like, Cody Ko, Nick Coletti, Getter. A lot we of like people. Cody Coe, I love Cody Ko. We I love Cody Ko. He's amazing. <laughs> Cody Ko's on we, like, shit. We like fought for like 20 minutes over who liked Cody Ko more. I like Noel. Oh. Noel's yeah. hilarious. I like him too. He's creative. Yeah. He's very woody. I yeah. wish I was that woody. It's but. something that's really weird that I've noticed is I don't necessarily love Noel's videos on their own, but when him and Cody are together, it's like Noel like basically runs the show and is more funny. Yeah. And then Cody's videos are funnier alone. And I'm like, why is this? Like yeah. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. Think, I think Noel's just so good at feeding off energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know. But it yeah. It's a good dynamic too. Yeah. They they go well together. They do. Like um pig dick and meatballs. <laughs> What's that Borat line? You guys know what I'm talking about? We're just talking pop culture right now. Oh, yeah. We're just getting after pop culture. Hello, welcome to no, our... No, it was, it was no, uh, a Big podcast. Daddy. So there's a... There's that's a what it is. And he's like, like, 
Uh, he said something like, "What uh, do you mean, like spaghetti and meatball?" No, but like he said something beforehand, like um, he said something weird, and then and Adam Sandler and I like those are two things that don't go together, and he's like, "What? Like, you mean something like spaghetti and meatball? <laughs> Is that go together together?" Because <laughs> we're in America. Yeah, I think he said something like, "I feel like it had to La- do with so something lamb chop." It was lamb chop and I'll look it up. Breast milk or I'll something. Look it up. It matters that much. She's never. She's gone? yeah. It, it matters that much, man. Do you, you've never seen Big Daddy. She's never mm-hmm. seen Big Daddy. I haven't either. Any like classic movies? Wait, I feel like wait, I haven't wait. Seen. Okay, the scene you're describing though, I feel like I recognize it though, but I don't recognize that name. Maybe Twitter. Maybe. No, Zach and Cody. Have you guys seen that show? Nope, never. You guys watch that show? No, really? Yeah. Uh, you, 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 wait, have you seriously never seen like Zach and Cody? Life? Yeah, Sweet Life, yes. Zach and Cody. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. You said Zach and Cody, and I was like, I think you're talking like about Sweet Life or Cody Sweet Life on Deck. deck? And I was like, I, don't know. I forgot they did Sweet Life on Deck. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. With Debbie Ryan. Yeah. I love and Debbie Ryan. And now she's engaged to the guy from 21 Pilots. Yes, <laughs> I love them. They're such oh, really? cute. Yes. She's actually super edgy, which she's is really so weird. edgy. They're like the cutest couple. I love them. What does edgy mean? She's just kind of like. Not like a scene girl, but like a cool scene girl. Do you yeah. remember what scene girls were? No. Mm. Like flappers from the 20s? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, she's just like, she's just kind of like. Alternative. Yeah, alternative. Kind of like. Okay. Kinda like maybe has gauges, like tattoos, like wears kind of, has like dark hair, like dark lipstick maybe. Yeah. I feel like if I saw it's a girl like that, what like I would think immediately is like hit or miss. You know what I mean? Like I I'm love it. Girls. It was lamb and tuna fish. I'm my idol. I'm always trying to be an IV girl. Edgy? Lamb and tuna that's fish. That's like that's <laughs> yeah. like because whenever yeah, I was younger, they go together I was really like, like, like lamb and tuna fish. <laughs> <laughs> We're having two conversations. I started having a conversation with her, and then she was talking, so I just gave up. No, it's super easy to do. It's super easy to do. I'm trying to find a picture of Debbie Ryan where she looks edgy. Fish. But yeah, sweet life. Zach and Cody. Dylan and Cole Sprouse, is that their real names? Yes, I, think I it is. love them. Yeah, so they, they as little kids, they're in that movie. Oh, And it's okay. cool, because like, yeah. they used oh, to choose that children oh, okay. that, were, that were twins. Like, they did this mm-hmm. on Full House yes. as well. Yeah. And they would switch out, like, the two um, kids, because, like, they're interchangeable at that yeah. point. Um, yeah. Smart. And Friends, it was just Cole, though. Yeah, was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they were. he was only in it for a short period yeah. of time. He would yeah. only be in an episode at a time. And then the later seasons, it was like... I don't think the kid even existed. No, they like just the forgot about him. They had another yeah. baby and they didn't care. They were about Emma. Wait. Yeah. Dylan and Cole Sprouse were on Friends? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was Ross's it, was it was Ben. Ross's kid. Cole Sprouse was Ben. Ro- Ross's kid? Yeah. No fucking Like in the later way. episodes. Really? Isn't mm-hmm. one of them in Riverdale? Yes. Cole Sprouse. I literally love the Sprouse. What was the other twins. one do? He owns, like, an either, like, um, a bar or a brewery or something like that. I think it's a brewery in New York. It's like really successful and it's actually really cool. And they both like went to college and like did a bunch of stuff and then got Cole went back into acting and then Dylan does that and she's he's dating um this one model who's like the first plus size model from Victoria's Secret, but she's still like skinnier than everyone I've ever <laughs> met. <laughs> but uh, no, th- like yeah, he has this like really cool life and yeah, I love them. Hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I feel like that's interesting for like actors to get into alcohol. Yeah. Like, so you Ryan have Reynolds has aviation gin. Yeah. And then um, George Clooney owns uh, Casamigos tequila. Really? Yeah. Really. And then um, there's like there's a bunch of others that like are huge and I know like um, have you seen Supernatural? Yeah. Yeah. So Jensen Ackles has oh, his yeah. own like brewery. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, He's they a really all cool guy. like they all have like their own breweries or distilleries or something like that. I think it's just like a time to like where you can drink your own product. To be honest. But I think it's like <laughs> one of those things. It's like they have money, they like it. Let's go for it. Honestly. Yeah. Charlie Sheen should start his own <laughs> alcohol company if anybody. <laughs> yeah. Are you HIV positive about that? HIV positive about that? Wait, what, is he HIV positive? <laughs> yeah, he is he AIDS. really? He has AIDS. Yeah, no way. Yeah, there's like a huge break about this. This is like right after he said, uh, I'm "But he winning. has tiger blood. How can <laughs> you have AIDS if you have tiger true. blood?" That's true. That's when that right after that winning video when he was like having his meltdown, he came out that he had AIDS. Oh. Really? Yeah. 
Well, you don't think you'd want to, like, say something like that whenever you have all media attention on you, too. I think he was just, he was fucked up for a while, so. I don't know. He's Winning. Not, yeah. I don't know, like, because, like, Magic Johnson's had AIDS for a long time. What are the inconveniences of life if you have AIDS? It's really compromising to your immune system, correct? Yeah. Probably. But, uh, Probably can't but with him, blood. but with him, but... <laughs> <laughs> Low blow. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a South Park episode where they're like, "We found the the cure for AIDS," and it's just gobs and gobs of money because like it just showed him like putting money into a blender and then he would put it into a syringe and start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kind of bl- true though. Like, but yeah, so I mean, like he, but I think now like they have, and someone could correct me if I'm wrong, but I think. They have AIDS where it's like under control. Where they you have, like they have, it's it's treatable, not curable. Yeah. So it's manageable f- to an extent, but it's we still don't have a cure. As in the same as cancer, like it's treatable to an extent, but we don't have a cure. Yeah. Quote unquote. We yeah. Are there any cure. conspiracies with that? <laughs> are there any conspiracies with like not having a cure to cancer to maybe like fund big pharma or something? That is like one of the number one conspiracies. Really? Oh, I don't know. Herpes or I, so AIDS. So the. I don't know if it's defunct. So don't get me wrong. Like my mom has breast cancer. So like this is like, it's not me saying this as like a morbid, but like there's a lot of money in the cancer industry and it's kind of a way to like population control in a way. That, like, yeah. So like, a lot of do it's I, marketing too. Yeah. Do I think that there's a big cure out there? I think there, I, there's so much technology out there. I think that if you focused it all in one area, you could find a cure for whatever you really wanted to. But do they want to? The I so half of me, I am such a conspiracy person, and I do. I, I hate big pharma, so I do kind of agree that it might be a conspiracy. But also in my genetics class, we learned like how. How sorry, you guys really. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was say. But in my genetics class, we learned how like. Cancer is so rapidly changing, and it is, like, so impressive how well it attacks cells. So it's almost like it's too fast-changing and too, like, mutation—I don't know, mutationable? I don't think that's a word. Mutated? Mutatable? Yeah, that I— I feel like Michael Scott. (laughs) Yeah, I (laughs) just—that I don't think that even if there was, like, one cure, we would have to continuously update that to all the different types and, like— strands and like just like we do for like the different types of flus and stuff like i just don't think that there could possibly be one cure but i do think we could probably find better ways to treat it well and so like yeah so like my dad my dad's a pharmacist so like he every year they pick a new what he was telling us was like every year they pick like a new um i guess line of disease uh, or thing that they like study on and last year was cancer. Like this year was something else. Next year is something else. Study no. with like the intent to no, cure like, it, or no? Like so, like they study all the drugs that are coming out this year based on it. So like, he took the like you refresh like every five or ten years. And so I guess he took this class in 2010 or around then, and then now he's taking it again with like all the new drugs that are coming out. And he was like, it is a completely different world for the healing process like everything basically everything until the last probably five or ten years was like you need to do radiation chemo everything and now it's not necessarily all that like now it's a lot less invasive like now they can go in and find out okay you have exactly this type of cancer it can be treated exactly this way you don't need this type of treatment whereas it used to be you need full board treatment and because we don't know what yeah. it is so that that is really a big coming th- upcoming thing with like personalized medicine and like so i want to go into genetics whenever i'm older so this is like really interesting to me but um i don't know where i'm trying to go with this but being able to actually target the specific parts of your body and the specific cells and everything like that i think that is like the biggest like strive we have made and i think it's like the biggest we'll make in a while because like once we can target that then that helps save the other parts of your body and that really is like really big so i think that might be like not the extent of as far as we can go and treating it but i think that's like 
huge is being able to actually target the specific things and making it more personalized to the person and all those type of things rather than being like okay you have cancer we're doing this one treatment that we do to everyone and it should work for it's you too broad it's yeah not narrowed down yeah enough. i think the more we get it more narrowed down and we can make it more personalized i think the better treatment it'll be overall like yeah. you're saying and i honestly going back to like how you said like cancer is just like any other disease out there like the flu they're talking about like the flu in the next 10 years like so have you guys ever heard of the super bug super bugs like in the hospitals and it's like since we have so many antibiotics and antibiotics and all this it stuff it's immune to all of them it yeah. gets immune to all of them and then oh you get goodness. it and then all of a sudden like you can't be cured and they don't know what disease this is this is like this is like croatoan or uh like what is it roanoke where everyone just yeah. disappears and like you have no idea because they all have this weird disease Mm-hmm. Like that's what ba- they're basically talking about, or like the zombie disease, where like they think that people are just gonna get zombie and they don't know how to cure them. I've seen uh, I Am Legend. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that movie. Yeah. It exists. I, yeah, but I don't know. Bringing up I Am Legend, <laughs> Will Smith's acting career has completely changed. How so? I feel like he was really funny whenever he was. He was, was so and funny, and now he's like in all action movies. Or serious movies. He's taking a lot more serious roles. Yeah. May- maybe he, as an older man, is just a more serious person, and that just, like, speaks to him more. Adam Sandler's kind of going the same route, in a way. I think it's harder to be funny when you're older. I just... Steve I, Carell. Well, Steve Carell got really serious. Well, so... Yeah, true. So the interest... So He's Steve funny. Carell is, like... They, I was listening to a radio show. This is before they had podcasts. And they were talking about Steve Carell, and they were saying that, like, Steve Carell was always, like the secondary guy so anchorman he was probably one of the funniest people in anchorman but he wasn't the main character couldn't do the lead role he wasn't the lead role guy and so he was always a really good sporting actor and then finally 40 year old virgin so the office came out and then 40 year old virgin came out and he like 40 year old virgin's hilarious yeah and like after that point everything kind of switched for him and i think after the office he didn't want to do that character anymore i think it's hard for him to be funny and not be steve Car- or not be michael scott i think i think that is a thing because a lot of times when you're humorous you are like yourself or you are like one specific person so it might be hard to be humorous in mul- multiple different roles but it's not hard to be like serious in multiple different roles so i think that maybe like they've been playing the same thing over and over and over and being able to actually be like serious or in an action movie or like danger or whatever like they can play so many different people rather than just being their one funny role and i feel like it would be more rewarding to be playing all these different things than just the same thing you've been yeah. loved for I versus mean. seth rogan like that's the <laughs> shit everybody always makes fun of seth rogan for it's like why are you the same yeah. character in every well, single it's movie? hard to be funny in different ways you know what i mean like it, uh-huh. if you're funny like you're funny because you're a funny person you know and then you i'm doing a podcast <laughs> With Jordan. What up, Caden? <laughs> Where are you at? Are you at Trops? <laughs> I'll be there in a little bit. Guest Sorry about that. No, it's cool. All right. So, yeah, Steve Carell. Wait, go back to medicine. Do you think, do you think the world of medicine <laughs> is, like, going to take on a more preventative role? Like to, you know, to prevent it before it actually gets caused. I think that's the goal. I I definitely think that's the goal, but I feel like we're playing catch up so much that. So I I think that's the purpose of vaccines. Yeah, it actually is. It really is. We are really preventative because of vaccines and like you know. All these anti-vax moms. (laughs) Have you seen those memes? (laughs) Those are my number one (laughs) favorite memes. Like literally, you haven't seen those? No. Where it says like. When an anti-vax kid sneezes and you say, bless you, and they say, thanks, I'm going to die tomorrow or something like that. (laughs) (laughs) It's just, like, stupid shit like that because, like... It's, like, almost anti-jokes, like, that whole thing. It's basically that because it's (laughs) so, like, sad. Like, just vaccinate your children. There's my stance. (laughs) I just, like, I don't know. I just... I. 
What's the anti-vax so, okay. movement? Like, what, what is I, it? They it's think that the it causes logic. diseases. It, they think that it causes autism. They do think it causes autism. And the thing that the thing that is so frustrating is that study that came out. Yeah, the guy's not even a yeah, doctor. Yeah, he was not a doctor. Really. It was like they were it was it's been proved so many times that it was wrong that it was like so wrong and people are like no i believe it i i believe it i'm sure he was right like no it was proved to be wrong yeah so they're just being ignorant about it yeah but i mean i feel like so you get basically all your vaccinations when you're a small child either an infant or between like the infant and age of five really and then you just get like a tetanus shot every once in a while i feel like as we become more advanced you'll probably get more vaccines as you get older yeah i still hate shots just as much as i did when i was like five so like like when i was i there was uh i think it's hpv so it used to be Mm -hmm. that girls only got h the, the hpv shots but then like right when i was about the age they they asked my mom they were like do you want to give them this, like, or not? And she ended up saying, she asked me, and I was like, I don't care. And they she ended up giving me the shot. So like, it wasn't a big deal, but, like, now they're starting to get – and then, like, there's a whole bunch of other studies that's saying that, like, um, like birth control. They're going to start giving, like, guys birth control, and it's going to be, like, different because, like, I don't know. Like, it's, it's different than the girls having to take it. And then, like, with the girls and the guys taking it, it's, like, 100%. Didn't they try birth control with males first, and then males refused to take it? Well, it's like condoms. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's called condoms. No, no, no. I think there was <laughs> something, like, before that even. Oh, I like, some know. other preventative. Maybe that. it was a pill. I don't know. How I look at it is, is, like, why put a bulletproof vest on someone when you can just I've take, o- the, yes, gun, I've heard take that the bullets out of the gun? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there just you go. Just everyone get their let their snip, tubes snap, tied snip, snap. and then r- untie them when you're ready to have a kid. Like, <laughs> you know how many? Well, there you go. Yeah, it's the perfect solution. <laughs> it's just it's all about tying knots. Yeah, it was tying all the this. knot before you decide to tie the knot on the kid. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually taking a human sexuality class, and it's very interesting. Really? I, said, I would yeah. love to take that type of class. Yeah, That's got to be interpretive, right? The very first day was so awkward. So we were doing, like, our icebreakers and all of that. And they're like, okay, like, you're going to go through this list and, like, find someone who's done something on this list or, like, has heard of something on this list. It's like Bukaki. <laughs> she was just like. <laughs> done it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't. Right here. <laughs> Didn't regret right it. Right here. <laughs> she was like, maybe a little awkward. This is probably different from all your other classes. And so, like, questions were like, have you used sex toys? Have you masturbated? Like, ever, have you watched porn in the past week and stuff like that? And they expect you to admit on the first day to all of this. Yes. And so we went around, and she's like, all right, raise your hand if you've ever masturbated. And I, like, raised my hand, and she was like, all right, here's a full pack of Starburst. And I was like, oh, nice. So, like, if you, like, confess to, like, doing all this, like, have you ever watched porn? So I'd be like, I've watched porn. So she, like, tossed in the Kit Kat. And I was like, oh, this is cool. But, like, literally the whole class just, like, since then, you just kind of had to be open with everything. So people just, like, talk about their sexual problems. It's kind of like a weird, just, like, group yeah. talking about... Their sexual <laughs> problems. <laughs> yeah. like I can't get it up. Shit. I tried <laughs> last night. It didn't work. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I think that... I really... L- I think that's interesting, and I think it's... That should be way more common and way more normal to talk about. Yeah. It should not be, like... We were all taught in high school where they're like, don't talk about it, don't do it. This is like, you're all gonna get, you're all gonna get STDs and die. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. that's all they taught in high school and that is ridiculous. And, like, and our professor's talking about how like bad it was that they like teach kids at a young age to call it like their private parts or like call it something cute. Yeah, like just their flower, like their cookie or something like that. I saw And she was like, <laughs> you need to not that. do that. Was that was my favorite one, the <laughs> cookie. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you need to not do that because like whenever like, if they are going through, like, sexual abuse and all of that, and, like, they go to tell someone um, something like, oh, like, my neighbor touched my flower. He's like, oh, like, that's not bad that, like, or why should he be touching, like, your flowers? Like, you're growing them yourself. And so it's just, like, kind of hard to try and translate that, to be like, that's her telling you, like, oh, she's been, like, sexually abused. Because they think it's just, like, just something she was just, like, stating. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's just, like, very confusing for young kids. They're like, they need to call it by, like, their anatomical parts. <laughs> I think, yes, and that's very important. Yeah, for I sure. I really think so, too. 
Like, educate children. Mm-hmm. Please. Please. I've never heard that in my life, though. Educate call it your cookie or call it your flower? Yeah, probably I've that's never heard thing. that. I only heard that in college. I only heard, like, the cookie thing, and that was because, like, the girls' soccer team, I guess their coach gave them a speech. What? To, to call, call it their cookie. Yeah, they, they basically said, like, don't let any guys eat your cookie in the first week. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then, An interesting thing for like, your coach to tell you. I don't, I don't know like how that, that relates it wasn't to soccer. Us. It wasn't us. It was, like, uh, the girls' coach was, like, a, I think she was Mormon. So, like. I think she was Mormon. She's Mormon, she but she said not the first week, but the second one's okay. Well, I don't think kidding. she. she I don't kidding. think she believed or after like that eight at all. Days. Yeah, like, like, like on the eighth day. So like <laughs> preseason, they don't want them dealing with like guys and girls. They don't want our coach didn't mad like our coach didn't care at all. But like preseason, they want them all focusing on the season and getting prepared and not polygamy. Yeah. She doesn't and need to be entering a polyamorous relationship before preseason starts. Well, yeah. I mean, but just before like preseason. Yeah. Then but then when season starts. Well, they were terrible anyway, so <laughs> once their first game starts, it all is a downhill slope. So well, there you go. <laughs> but, no, I mean, it was just, like, it was weird because they were, like, they would joked around about it. So, like, they thought it was just a complete joke that she was telling them that. Because, like, both guys and girls soccer teams, how it started was we all had to go through a class about – sexual harassment in sports before oh, okay. preseason even started and then they had like their own separate meeting and we had our own separate meeting and it was like not only us but it was like the football team the volleyball team all sports team. yeah and our coach basically just said do you guys watch it and we were like yeah just don't do like just don't do anything bad <laughs> is what basically we got out of it and he was like all right let's go do soccer <laughs> that's like in fifth grade when everyone had to watch those videos and like you split up and the girls had to like go over a bunch of stuff and the boys were like let's play dodgeball because like what do you have to teach a boy yeah Yeah. like whoa 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 we were taught stuff i remember (laughs) specifically i remember in my fifth grade class we were told not to make fun of overweight girls because they could mature in life to be the really hot girl <laughs> that's what you learned <laughs> that's yeah it. That's, that's literally that is said that? really important 100 percent. that's some fifth grade wisdom right there <laughs> exactly i've kept that all throughout my life <laughs> <laughs> waiting on some of them to <laughs> i'm glad that's what they learned that's really like literally that's it <laughs> yeah yeah oh i well i learned and something wear, else wear deodorant wear deodorant oh, there remember you go. that one yeah see then i can smell deodorant. you from here so you don't <laughs> i smell don't do that, that lesson like, you tell. didn't remember like. yeah you can you can improve upon that one i got in trouble in seventh grade for putting a picture it was like a diagram of like the it's you know <laughs> like how, how would you even how would you describe it it was like a diagram to where you could kind of see the internal parts of a penis it's the best way I can describe it. But I put it in this black dude's face <laughs> who rode my bus, and he goes, damn! He, and, uh, Why did you he have called, this? He said, this N-word, just put this in uh, my face. So. Why did you have that just, like, on your person? Well, we were in health class. Oh, okay. I thought you were just carrying this picture around. No, you no. just really, like... We're in health class, and I flipped open to that page, and I'm like, I'm putting this in Jamel's face. I'm going to fuck with Jamel because me and Jamel have a good relationship. So that's what I did. Do you remember my health teacher added me on Snapchat a couple weeks ago? Yeah, that was weird. That was really weird. I had this health teacher in high school, and I was on. We were at P Bar, and I opened my Snapchat, and I was like, "Who is this guy?" I was like, "The name's really familiar." So I looked him up on Facebook, cause I was like, "I think this is my old health teacher from high school," and I looked him up on Facebook. And I'm like, it was him. He's married and has a kid. <laughs> and I was just like, "That's there is this." I have one no idea so how he found me. Like, I didn't have his number. Well, I doubt we had any mutual people. I was like, "This is really weird." Do you have it posted on any like other social media sites? Mm mm. Do you, that's bizarre. You guys follow yeah, Snapchat? Maybe he Facebook? was also at P Bar. Can and you search quick on Snapchat? Added you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do know. you guys watch? Do you guys follow uh, Barstool Sports? No. Uh, no. I think I think I do. They do like. They do, uh, like, kind of a compilation of hot teachers caught in a sex scandal, but it's all girls. <laughs> it's girls caught with, like, got, like the boy students in a sex scandal, and they raid them. Yeah, so it's, like, seventh grade teacher has sex with student, and then they're, like, they go through on, like, the, the scale. So, like, I've That happens? Yeah. 
Like, wow. you think that it's only guys, but no, like, girl teachers will have I've sex with, I've heard of like, a lot of girl teachers doing it. Yeah, and I so... I feel like it's more common with, like, female teachers now than it is, like, male yeah. teachers. Because I feel like I've heard a lot more, like, female... Because I think that boys... Like, I think that girls know that doing that with an older man is, is wrong. But boys are like, okay, I'll be fucking sick. Like, they're like, <laughs> like, like that'll be sick. sick. Like, I got my teacher. Yeah, like, I got that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel sick. like. Plus, teacher it's easier cool. for consent for the child. Yeah. So that it's just up to the, the I'm going to take your flower. <laughs> Let's <Yeah>. go. <laughs> I'm going to eat that cookie. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell all my friends up to recess. <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward pauses. <laughs> so we learned about cookies. We learned about cancer and the mutations of it. We learned well, that Caden called you a pussy. Yeah, he did because he asked me to come to Trops. He asked me to come to Trops, and I said no. I got a um, I got a podcast to do, and he was like, "Yeah, come to Trops." And I was like, "I guess you just didn't read my last text." <laughs> So noble of you. You what? said it like, I have a podcast to do. I do. I, I got obligations. I, I got duties. We m- <laughs> duties. <laughs> no, we came up with this last night. Can I try a taste of that squirt? Oh, yeah, <laughs> open the squirt. The fact that there's a drink called squirt is hilarious you to me. You've never had squirt? I've heard of squirt, but and I forgot yeah. it was it's, a drink. It's, it's, a squirt. Squirt. it's an amazing marketing ploy because... You would have never wanted to taste that random thing unless it was actually called Squirt. That's Marketing. the only. Re- that's the only reason that you wanted to taste it was because it's called Squirt. You're totally right. You just well, smelled. and because it's caffeine free, it's also thirst quencher. It is. It is a thirst quencher, and you'll have an O face afterwards. I want to. I want to try. I'm not thirsty. I'm parched. Oh, uh, I would definitely go for it then. <laughs> okay, I'll take a big old gulp of this. A squirt. squirt. A You're drinking squirt my that? squirt. That's delightful. Yeah, that is great. <laughs> that is Can I ask you guys a question? Because I don't know the answer to this. Let's hear it. What is squirting? Is it just peeing? I really don't know. I no, I don't. I don't know either. I I've think heard it's like a, the ultimate orgasm. I, I've heard that it's just peeing, but I don't think so. I think it. I think it. Because it I, like spurts out. And I think that it's. I think okay. it's uh, one All of right. those. All right. I'm gonna pause there. It does not just splurt out because I've been with a squirter. It is the entire time. Ugh. The entire time? The Okay, I think there must be two kinds of squirting. Like a car wash. It, it's literally like a car wash. I was drenched. It was not pleasing. What is this, like, water pressure? Like. Yeah, no, it was just like, well, yeah, it was just wasn't fun. This is like a super soaker. Like, the more you pump, the more it, it pressure builds up, and kind then of, it's the more like it streams out. It's just kind of like a hose. Was she dehydrated at the end? <laughs> it must have been. Did you be like, hey, you need some squirt after this? It, you need some Pedialyte? There, must be, there <laughs> must be two different kinds. Sponsored. Because one must be there like a, the ultimate orgasm, and the other kind just means like this just happens every time. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely so – I, I don't think it's something that you can just be like, okay, I've decided I'm going to squirt today. It has to be something that like you just are that person that you do. Ooh, I feel like – I don't think it's every, voluntary. I feel like – Everyone has it in them. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I don't know about. I that. feel like you just haven't reached that ultimate climax yet. Wait, are you saying everybody like guys too? No, oh, well, that's I mean, called guys, ejaculation. Yeah. Okay. Thank I you. feel like guys Thank squirt you. every time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. But I'm, s- I'm thinking that girls have it in them. Maybe they have to. Maybe they've reached that spot, but in a different spot. Maybe it's like a lack of sexual shame, because you know, like I feel like a lot I of sex is tainted with shame. I just, yeah. I so just, maybe it's just like she's expressing herself by uncontrolled pissing. I feel like it's a pissing. trait you have. I genuinely <laughs> uncontrolled do. Uncontrolled pissing. I feel like you either are a squirter or you're not a squirter. Yeah, I feel like it. it it's it. You either are, or you aren't. I don't think that everyone has it. I just personally don't. But I don't. Who, what do I know? I don't know. Oh, you guys probably have a better opinion than I do. You got. No, the I have part. no idea. You guys I got the no parts. Idea. I don't have the parts. I've watched porn. Like I've seen it but i'm like i don't know how this happens yeah i don't think there's like any way to like mentally be like decide to i mean i i think it is involuntary so that's why i think that it's you either do or you don't well so not to dive too deep into this but like the only girl it's only been one girl and the only time that she 
like she said, like not every guy does this. Or not every guy can make me do this. Uh-huh. So it's like a. It was weird. But maybe she just said that to you. you know, See exactly. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I don't know. She's like, fuck. He believed it. Like, idiot. I was. I was. <laughs> You're like, you know what I did? Like, go me. But no, she was like, so she said that, but then like halfway don't believe her, but then also I kind of do, but then also I kind of don't. I don't know. It was she weird. Was, I, didn't like it. I, didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. She's trying to I was just trying to watch ego. Pirates of the Caribbean. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of interested now. Is yeah, it right? a trait? Is it like being able to like her search history is going that, off? You know, her, FBI, her FBI agents <laughs> like, whoa! She's like, are you okay? Like, it's gonna be a fun night with her. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, how do I squirt? <laughs> Where does it come out of? That's I think that's I a think it's your pee question hole, to start. It? If it came out of your pee hole, it would be pee because right? it would be pee. What? The that's only, only connected to your wait, bladder. Wait, 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 that's, that's so when girls get wet, it's, it's not from their pee hole though. No, it's from the inside. Yeah. yeah. Cause so like, it how must does someone from squirt vagina. from their vagina whenever it's like your face is inserted? I don't know. I've seen. I've I've seen. It goes more around. Like, <laughs> all right. Mm. It comes from their butthole. That's, that's <laughs> concerning. It's like they're peeing out of their butthole. If it, okay, all I, I all I gotta say is I hate to break it to you, if this was happening while you were in her and it was coming from her pee hole, you were just getting pissed on. No, I don't think <laughs> like, it was that. Okay. No. Oh, well, I mean, if, if it was, I, I got pissed on. <laughs> wouldn't be the because first that's time. The only, <laughs> be the that's the only time. thing that is connected right there is your ureters. But it has. To, but it your has urethra. to come from the the vagina. vagina. The vagina. I personally <laughs> love squirters because it's it's a lot easier to bridge the gap to ask them to poop on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that. I do like a good brown. No, you out. just like peers. <laughs> Is that what it's called? <laughs> a brown out? Yeah, it's a good brown out. <laughs> okay, it says female ejaculation refers to the expulsion of fluid from a female's urethra during orgasm or sexual arousal. The urethra is the duct that carries urine from bladder to the outside of the body. There are two different types of females ejaculate squirting fluid. So how does it get from? It must be Boom. just pee then. No, it just says that it's ejaculate. It yeah, com- but it says but it comes it's from the urethra. D- it's different tubes. Like it goes like Maybe urethra. Maybe you just don't have that tube. It goes no, no, no. Okay, it goes urethra, ureter, up to your kidneys. Up to your bladder, and then bladder, up to kidneys. the yeah, ureter yeah. to kidney. Yeah, yeah. It, it, and then there's a completely different pathway for your. But for boys, that all comes out the same hole. So it is actually like there are crossed wires. That's why it's hard for you to pee whenever you're horny. And y- it's literally impossible for you to like pee and ejaculate like at the same yeah. time. Yeah, because like one shuts Aww. off. Uh-huh. It like one shuts but off. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna test this. Yeah, theory. do it right now. <laughs> I guess I've never just thought about. I've seen it as binary my entire life. It's what? It's literally impossible though. Yeah. It's I like guess that's why you have to focus so hard. You've never been horny and tried to pee, and you just uh, you're like. You just kind of let you gotta let your boner die down a little bit. Yeah, have you seen that? Uh, it's called um, that awkward moment with Zac Efron and Miles Teller. I hate Miles Teller. Uh, I watched this such a good movie. Who, wait, who's Miles Teller? Miles Teller. What sucks. movie do you like? Whiplash. Oh my God. The drumming no, movie. Yeah. Okay. That's the movie that Ben said. Oh, change your mind about this guy. I've seen multiple movies with this guy. He sucks. What else is he in? And Michael B. Jordan's in there. Oh, I'll look him up. Yeah, Miles Teller's been in Divergent. Okay. I feel like I knew who Miles okay. Teller is. He's got, like, scars on his face. Yeah, no, I, I do like him. Okay, sorry, you hate him. Miles Teller. Yeah, yeah, that's who I was thinking. Okay. Of, yeah, I know who you're talking about. He kind of, he has a very sucks. distinct sucks. face. A like, I want yeah. it because I'm a nice guy, but he has one of those faces that you just want to just want to punch. He's just like a baby face. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't want to punch him, but. I'm just kidding. I'm oh, just he kidding. was in War Dogs, too. He was a little bitch in, in War Dogs. Oh, right. Yeah, he Project was. X. I watched that movie, oh. but. Jonah Hill. Hello? Jonah Hill Hello? is kind of a badass, but also kind of a douchebag. Okay. My retention of movies is absolute it. butthole. See, I remember certain characteristics of movies, just basically songs and funny parts. I remember like, like three the same movies songs and funny and that's parts. It. No. Mm. So my my family would play a game called What Movie, and basically when a song comes on the radio and you say What Movie, 
and whoever gets in the car wins. We don't keep score. It's just basically like bragging so rights. Cute. My my sister thinks that she's the best when really we all know that she only knows like five moves. So. <laughs> Name something from this decade. Yeah. They were watching Matrix upstairs. We were kind of mind blown. I've, n- the I've never of, like, seen it. <laughs> really? I've never seen it. Pretty the much Matrix. the premise is artificial intelligence overtakes humanity. And I don't want to ruin it for you because it's kind of a break. I'll probably never get around to watching it, to be honest. Oh, really? You should. Now, what I will what watch is I need life? to watch John Wick. I haven't seen that either. Yeah, I saw the... um, All I know is his dog got killed, and that is the reason why he goes and kills, like, 100 people. Yeah, I... Wait, that's the one with Keanu Reeves, right? Yeah, Yeah. I mean, but they're both Keanu Reeves. I saw the John Wick 3 one, like, because my dad's, like, a big John Wick, whatever. And it was just, start to finish, all it was was constant murder. It was just so much there was like very minimal plot line like no talking no humor it was just killing the whole time i was like oh my god it was crazy i was like this is not actually very entertaining but people loved it i thought, i heard it was really good i've also heard uh the kingsman was good so i love really the good. kingsman so i've never seen it but my mom said she didn't find it any good but my mom also only likes like chick flicks my dad was like, oh, it was badass. Kingsman is o- one of my favorite movies. He's like, it was over the top. It was like TV. Roadhouse. And I, have you ever seen Roadhouse? <laughs> Roadhouse Neither is a great movie. <laughs> no, you watched it like three times. We just fell asleep every time. <laughs> but Roadhouse <laughs> is a movie. It reminds me of uh, Club Rodeo. Like where like The place? Yeah, like it reminds me of Club Rodeo, oh. the place where it's kind of like madness inside. It's and then afterwards, like Club Rodeo. it's exactly like Club Rodeo. <laughs> and then the outside, like, yes. The inside, no. So basically, Wait, what do you mean the mixture of people? Like how you have like all the diversity in there? Just or? basically, when the lights come on, like at the end, and like everyone starts fighting. Have you ever been there when the lights come on? Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Is, is uh, it that? I've heard a lot of fights go down there. Time. Yeah, no, a lot of fights go down. And so, as like, soon as the lights go down, uh, no, the lights, lights come, like, on, lights come on, and everyone goes out in the punching. parking lot. Yeah, they start throwing punches. Is this like a tradition? Why? Should I get in on it? Like, yeah. Do I want to get into a fight? No. So I was there that with Caden. Caden had a Corvette. He had a 2000 a great Corvette. Half Wait, why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? They just start fighting. Is yeah, it, I think it's, it's I think it's a dominance thing. But all the cowboys have to just beat the college students. So up. basically, Caden and I get into his Corvette. And we're sitting there, students. and these two guys are fighting right out in front of his car. Well, one of the guys picks up the other guy and is about to throw him on Caden's hood. And Caden got out of his car, pushed them both over, and like everyone at the part, everyone that was circled around was like, "What the fuck, bro?" And he was like, "I don't care if you fight, just not on the hood of my car." Because yeah, he was yeah, trying yeah. to sell it at the time. But like, well, also, I mean, yeah, that'd be so property. rude. Like, yeah. yeah, right. Don't. Throw someone on something else, not someone else's head of the car. This isn't an I've also movie. seen Calm someone down. blackout drunk show up and just like, like, I they were dragging like their bumper on the front of the ground. Like you could tell they just railed like three cars on the way back and like oh god they, were, they turned right down the aisle no. where there's no exit. And I was like, I turned towards the bouncer. I'm like, that dude is fucked up. And the bouncer was like, oh shit, you're right. And he's like. Hold on one second. And he, like him and three other bouncers were like, hey, hey. And so the guy stopped because there's no way for him to go. And he just starts backing up down the aisle. And I'm pretty sure he sideswiped three cars while he was backing up. I'm like, oh, no. my God. How pissed would you be? Like, I mean, I don't Did know. Did they catch him? Like well, the yeah, bouncers they, they on ended foot? up stopping him. And, like, there are cops all over that place. But but basically, road, cl- or Roadhouse – is about this guy who's like a cooler and what he does is he goes into like bars like this where they fight all the time and like he makes it so like it's a bar where it's enjoyable and people actually want to go there and like not fight it's a really good movie it ends with what a uh, refreshing heartwarming <laughs> novel yeah and then uh patrick swayze at the end of it rips out a bunch of throats it's awesome I did not see the movie yeah. ending that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. And then, like, he comes up to the main guy and he rips out a... And then I feel like he was getting ready to... Oh, he was getting ready to rip out the main guy's... The main bad guy's throat. And he doesn't because he sees, like, the love of his life. And she doesn't want him to kill anymore. When, really, he already murdered, like, eight people. But, like... She didn't see it happen, so then he was, like, getting ready to, and he stops, and then the guy pulls out a gun, Well, then another guy comes in and hits him with a shotgun. 
badass. Although, also, Patrick Swayze is just a badass in himself. Just saying. You said something that made me think of something completely unrelated. If you guys want to hear about it, let's hear it. I told you this already, but okay. So I met this guy last night. Very interesting oh individual. Yeah, this guy. His <laughs> name was uh, fuck. What was his name? Old man. Not that it matters. Mark. Patrick Swayze. His name was Mark. Of course. Okay, it's I'm gonna Mark. paint the picture of who Mark is. Yeah, right. He's a fucking Mark for sure. But this guy was like, he's like, hey, I'm trying to, I'm trying to rail some, rail some cocaine down here in Springfield. Dude, I've tried to go that crazy. Like a thousand times. I'm down here, here for one night a year. I'm from Chicago. I got business down here. I make millions every single year. He's My also, mom. He's also like what, 46? Yeah, he said he was 46. He looks like he's like 26. But you could kind of see the crow's feet around his eyes, like starting to develop. But like this guy did not look 46. Whatsoever. This wasn't the guy that we met at. Uh, Big whiskeys that one Monday, right? No, no, that guy was cool. That, that guy, guy was, was cool. Pretty cool, yeah. That guy was that guy was balling. That guy was definitely balling. Yeah, he almost got us in a fight though. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. weird. That was a weird experience. Go on that, about that. Was it? That had nothing to do with him. That was that weird guy at the yeah, end. But anyway, guy. anyway, this guy's like, yeah, I don't care. Like, I don't care if I buy some shitty cocaine from Springfield, Missouri, and die tomorrow because it has fentanyl in it. I don't give a shit. And he's like, he's like, I fuck my girlfriend on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I fuck other girls on the weekends. And I was like, oh, wow, does your girlfriend know about this? And he's like, no, but I own 30% of her company, and I got it sponsored by Goldman Sachs. So that's – and he's like, that's what it's all about, buddy. I was like, what? What are you saying? <laughs> Why are you in Springfield? <laughs> <laughs> leave. Leave. <laughs> And I, I texted him. Mark. He got his, he got his number, though. Yeah, I, don't I got worry. his number. Like, yeah, you got to get those contacts. Of course. You got uh, uh, to He's this guy that wants to buy your account. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to fuck all the girls that you know. <laughs> he's going to be like, thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I, I, uh, I hit him up. I'm like, hey, did you end up getting with that girl last night? <laughs> and he replies with the Kool-Aid. The Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like a gif, like, oh, yeah. Uh, what a 46-year-old man thing tool. to do. <laughs> I did not reply to that. I was like, I don't know what to say to that. But, yeah, he was, he a, he was an interesting character. He said his he said his wife, or not his wife, his girlfriend that he cheats on frequently, uh, she oh. owns <laughs> a, almost, a, a, my interpretation, it was like a pole dancing business. That, that, he, that he owns 30% of. That he owns so. 30% of. It's a good market. Which is what it's all about, buddy. <laughs> so that should be your catchphrase. I've, I've heard the best place in town to get a steak is the Centerfold. Centerfold. I've had two strippers on this podcast from Centerfold. I've heard they had the best steak in town. It's really good. Is it? I've only been there once, but yeah. Caden, okay. So Caden said that he, well, so one, it was a Thursday or Friday night. He invited me to go. I went out the night before with him, and I... I thought I was just talking over. I think I had, the, like, the actual flu because I literally could not stop throwing up. Like, I had the cold sweats. Like, I was – I worked that day, and, like, I went – I bent down to pick up a case, and I literally, like, threw up in my mouth. And then I was like, oh, I guess I'll just swallow it down. And then I swallowed <laughs> it down, carried the case back, and I was like, well, that was disgusting. And then, like, I just kept working, and then the second I got home – I think I slept for like 14 hours straight, and I I woke up and my whole couch was just covered in sweat because like I just sweat. Yeah, just y- you probably had a fever and then it broke. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember I called my I called my parents and I was like, hey, like, actually they called me to ask about something. And I was like, yeah, I'm getting ready to throw up right now, <laughs> and they're like, oh, are you all right? And I was like, yeah, it's just the day flu. And they're like, oh, are you that hungover? I was like. I didn't drink that much last night. I shouldn't be hungover. And then, like, I threw up, and then I was sweating a lot, and I just fell asleep. But, yeah, that night I was supposed to go to Centerfold and get the steak. But then he told Uh. me. He told me it was the best steak he's ever had. The only weird part was that strippers kept coming out. He was (laughs) like, I almost kind of wish that I was at a real restaurant because I would actually, like, he was just like, it's not like the strippers were a bad part. He was just like, it was just different from just going and eating a steak he just felt it's weird two different activities <laughs> yeah. you know like so i don't know and that's also caden caden's just a funny guy i saw him the other day he was selling like cupcakes cupcakes did yeah. you buy one no like, uh, he bought 
bought two of them. You bought two? Supporter of the cupcakes. You didn't give me one. I haven't gotten them. Oh. <laughs> I then bought them. I said, I'll come get them later. I said, okay. And then I just never got them. Yeah, you're going. not getting cupcakes. I don't think I would. This is bullshit. Sorry. So I'm going to bring him to the traps. He said he's keeping that money. He's like, people have been Venmoing me all day. I'm probably just going to keep it, though, for myself. Figured. <laughs> That's Doesn't funny. surprise me. He's a, a funny guy. and a little bit of tequila. Well, how should we – how much longer – How we've been going 49 minutes. How much longer do you guys want to go? Up to you guys. Okay. Up to, uh, up to you. Up to you. What is Patron? Uh, what yeah, is Patron? What's thing. the difference between Patron, tequila, yeah. like Patron like is tequila? A so Patron's yeah. a type of tequila. Just yeah, that's brand. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So Patron has silver, añejo, and reposado, and so this is añejo. Añejo. So like, it's all different. So Keep your like plastic wrapping over on your side. Yeah, of the I'm table. gonna kill some turtles with this later. Yeah. <laughs> Suffocate oh. a snake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, um, añejo means that it's, like, aged in a whiskey barrel for, like, a, an extended period of time. Reposado means that it was, like, basically in there, but it wasn't really aged in it too long. That's why Reposado is, like, a little bit of tent, but añejo is a lot deeper tent. So, like, uh, Espolón tequila. You know Wild Turkey? I've heard of the brand, yeah. Yeah, so, like, Espolón is aged in Wild Turkey barrels. So... Why do the barrels matter? Does that impact flavor a lot? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, so, like, this will taste completely different than Blanco. Are they, like, made of different things? Is that what, what no, so mean? Blanco... No, I mean the barrels. The barrels are whiskey barrels. I don't know what that means. So wi- all whiskey is, like, aged in barrels. What, okay, is it, like, made of a specific type of wood or something that affects I w- it? I think it's uh, oak. Okay, that's... That's what I was wondering. Okay. If, like, different types of wood made different types of barrels that aged things differently. Mm. Or, like, you did something. And, like, it, like, impacted the flavor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know about that. I don't <laughs> want But I know that they're aged in, like, uh, like old whiskey barrels. So, okay. like, they, they aged whiskey in it. The whiskey's gone. But, like, the whiskey soaked into the wood. So, yeah. basically, oh, they pour the sense. tequila in there, and then the tequila... St- brings out the whiskey flavors and like the odor uh, cool. the smells of the whiskey and everything like that and it, it like infuses them into the tequila itself so for this this actual patron here hi yeah. bee bought a whiskey barrel and so like i don't know how many actual gallons or even bottles a barrel fills but they bought a barrel and then it can only go into this high V, so I guess it must have been a lot, but they've been trying to sell out of it for a year. They bought this whiskey barrel a year ago, and now, like, they're still trying to sell out of it, so it's on deep discount. So, like, normally Patron on Yeho costs, like, $60, $60 or $70, and I ended up getting this for 30 but it's just because it's so discounted, and they're just trying to get rid of it, and... But it's really good stuff. Like, I don't know what kind of whiskey was in the barrels, but it's good stuff. That's really interesting. Yeah. So they used the whiskey before? Yeah. Yeah. And that impacts the flavor because that's, absor- like, absorbed in the oak? Yeah. And so then, like, when you put tequila in there, it mixes with the whiskey that's in the oak. And, like, it all kind of mixes together. It's not going to taste like that makes whiskey, but it's going to affect the flavoring. Yeah, Absolutely. that makes a lot more sense than my wood hypothesis. Of just different types different of wood. wood. I know yeah. what you meant by it. <laughs> it, was a kind of, it made sense in my head. Yeah. I was like, oh, no, no, that makes total sense. I think that, like, alcohol production is so interesting. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything about it, but that is so cool. I'm yeah. glad to know that. Like, beer brewing is, like, it's basically like baking. That's the, mm. that's the easiest yeah. I can describe it. Like, my brother and I, we made a couple batches of, like, just homebrew. And, like, it was literally just, like, baking. Yeah. And it smells like you're baking, too, because you use a bunch of yeast. But, like, I think when it comes down to distilling, I think distilling is really cool. Because yeah. distilling and winemaking. The only problem with, like, both of those things, and especially with, like, whiskey and wine, you really don't find out your finished project or, like, until 
a couple of years down the road. Yeah. So I I have you can, uh, a, I have you can make like a shit whiskey and like you don't find out until three years and well you're like oh well good to know. That is like <laughs> <laughs> that was a yeah. waste. <laughs> like, that it's that would be bad because people in this culture love immediate gratification. Yeah. And that is like super slow. Which, well, which is interesting because they. So, like, the craft beer market is so saturated right now that they're all switching to, cr- like, craft whiskeys. So, they all want, like, the high-end bourbons, whiskeys, and all this kind of stuff. And I have a feeling it's going to start switching because it's starting to get saturated as well, if that makes sense. Like, so every every five to ten years it starts switching over. And I have a feeling it's going to either move to vodka or gin. It's going to mm-hmm. go to one of those two. What, what's your opinion on um the hard seltzer trend uh actually this is like a huge thing at work so like this is all he talks about (laughs) so two years ago they predicted that it was going to be a flop so the problem with this generation is we're so hit and miss on things like it's so fast moving that like this moment i'm on red bull the next moment i'm on squirt and it could be a week apart yeah. And that's the whole generation. Like it's within like months we changed flows of everything. Yeah. So they the beer companies threw out a whole bunch of stuff at the market and they saw what would stick. And honestly, they did not think that the seltzer industry was going to stick. I so love it. Now in 2016 they rated the seltzer industry as like a flop. They said, "Nah, it's not going to be anything." By the year 2021, it's going to be a $2.5 billion industry. I Two believe that. Billion with a B. With so a like, B. With a B. <laughs> so, like, I talked to one of the come and goes on, like, the south side of town, and he said, like, his whole beer shelf, like, his whole beer cooler was, say he has six doors, five of them are beer, and the one door is like white call the spritzers and he says that 60 percent of his cooler sales are actually the white claws and oh i believe it i I believe it because it's there it's almost like you're literally drinking nothing and it's like why drink something that is like disgusting when you could drink something that tastes like nothing is it low in calories yeah i know 100 calories yeah and and how, how many like have what, you ever like had four high noon? Five get you? Have you ever had high noon? Um, I'm a lightweight, so after like one and a half, I'm good. So really? So like high noon? Really? That's strong. Wow. <laughs> have you ever had high noon? No. No. Okay, so I sell high noon. So he high noon is high noon. This is his favorite topic. High noon to talk is about ever. so like white, cl- white claw and truly are actually malt based. And then the Natty really? Lights seltzers, they're all malt based. So they're made by the beer companies. They say that like they have a special process to make them. They're all malt based. I wondered because it just says like alcohol and like what the f- what is in this? So High Noon is actually vodka soda. So it's real oh. vodka mixed with real fruit juice. It there's no artificial preservatives. It's no ar- no artificial sweeteners, no added sugar. It's all natural that's in there. And so like I think it's uh, 100 calories. It's 4.5%, so it's not a lot, but it makes it easy. So you know when you drink a White Claw or Truly, it kind of foams up in your mouth? And it, yeah, it's like so much. Yeah, so yeah. it's not that. Like, cool. these are smoother. They taste better. I mean, you can agree with them. Like, it, these. They still have that carbonated, bubbly appeal. They do, but. It's not as. It's not as syrupy. It doesn't taste as syrupy, and it doesn't foam up in your mouth. Yeah. It is literally like you're just drinking juice with a little bit of bubbles. Oh, I like that. See, the the reason that I started... I wish I brought some. So uh, yeah, I wish you would have so We could have done like a review, you know? Yeah. This is a little taste of Damn, podcast is sponsored this should be our noon. next podcast. We bring everybody back. We do a, a blind taste test. Oh. We'll do a blind taste test we'll of White Claw, Truly, White Claw, Truly High, High Noon, and we'll even throw Natty Seltzers in there. I, hey. My favorite, honestly. And so we'll put them all, like we'll just A, B, C, D, blind taste test. I love that. I'd be a good subject, too, because I've had, what, I think I've had a one White Claw, a few sips of Truly's, and I haven't had the Natty Seltzer yet. 
I, but I'm excited to try it. I love the concept. Yeah. It's it's interesting that you say. What did you say that they're based? What is, what was the word? Malt. Malt. So is that what beer is? Yeah. So here's the thing. Well, is no, no, no. Well, yeah, technically, yeah. So I like hate beer. I just absolutely despise it, and it makes my stomach hurt and all this stuff. But like White Claws, Trulies, and even the Natty Light seltzers, Natty Seltzer, they don't like. They're completely fine. They sit fine with me. I like the taste of them. So it's very weird. I think it's probably the wheat then. So oh. so all seltzer, all spritzers are actually gluten free. Like that's that uh, honestly could probably be it. So like, I I don't know. I I just hate the like. I guess yeasty taste. I also hate wine. Wine like really? Why why do you hate wine? It, I don't know. Like the taste of it tastes like weird cheese. To all me. wines. All I've tried. What? I've tried multiple different wines. Like not nothing nice, obviously. But my friends like have always like tried to get me, and I'll like take a sip. But I just absolutely have hate darks it. Darks or whites? I've I, both. Cause so, for darks I could understand that. So darks are drier. So uh, yeah. But for whites, all you should taste is like Welch's. That do, and then that's not what it tastes like to me at all. So if you've ever had like a barefoot Moscato, yeah, like barefoot Moscato should just taste like Welch's, or like barefoot. Uh, they make Moscato apple, Moscato strawberry, Moscato peach, Welch's. Maybe I'll try it again. But yeah. Saint James strawberry is really good. That's just, just like syrup. But we don't we don't like to promote Saint James. <laughs> I like Saint James, Missouri. <laughs> but uh, good save. most good save. represent. But that's. Basically, that's the reason that I like seltzers is because I'm weird and can't drink normal things because I don't like them. So, the seltzer trend makes me feel like a normal human being, and I can seltzers walk around are with good. that. I'm riding this wave. You're yeah, yeah. I'm like, I can drink something that's not Burnett's mixed with Red Bull because that's what oh, I drink. That's true. Are you just throwing stuff over there? <laughs> Do you want some squirt to go along with your vodka? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Have you even had squirt? Just it's squirt. honestly delightful. Refreshing. Squirt's good. That's a plug. <laughs> yeah, this podcast is sponsored by Squirt. Squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else to say on it. <laughs> not only have you not squirted, but you've had Squirt. 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 We don't squirt. really know what it is in squirt. either form. <laughs> You're gonna make me squirt. <laughs> is sun drop still a thing? We don't really. Oh, know remember that form. trend where? It <laughs> what? Show me how you sun drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is sun drop still around? Yeah, it's still around. Wasn't there like a sun drop girl? Like a. My there was a guy at my school. His name is Brad Harden. He was on like their official commercial because like he did like a YouTube and it just went viral of him doing the sun drop. My sorority sister's no way. sister yeah. was in the new Apple commercial. Ooh. Oh, sick. Like she's a way dancer. Co- that's way cooler than the, uh, the sun drop. And now she's <laughs> also a sister as well. I'm famous now. <laughs> By association. Nice. I followed her on Instagram, but she doesn't follow me back, so like it's fine. Oh, yeah. Well, my friend's little brother, best friend, is playing for Southampton. So, like, wow. professional soccer player. You get a lot of connections sitting yeah. at this table. Wow. Yeah, well, <laughs> like, upper class, you know? Like the elite here. <laughs> Dream team. Sport. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you guys want to wrap this up? Sure. Yeah, after that riveting talk about seltzers that I forced upon <laughs> everyone. <laughs> no, seltzers. What are, are your honest? thoughts on seltzers? Tell me now. <laughs> no, seltzers are so good. I. I'm so glad we went from that trend to beer, right, from beer, because what I, as bitchy as it sounds, like, I'll drink three beers and feel like shit the next day. But I can really, I I can drink seltzers all day and I can drink hard stuff all day and I won't feel bloated the next day. Well, I don't know if drinking alcohol all day is a good thing. Yeah, I think. Well, you can't drink alcohol all day if you don't start in the morning. It's a good point. It's a good point. I, I think it's funny the whole shift in the trend though, because a while ago most boys would be like, "Oh, you're drinking a fucking white claw, like." Pussy. Uh, there's no, there's and no then, laws when you're and, drinking. And a then white there claw. was a shift, and now boys are like, "And no laws when you're drinking claws, baby." And I'm like, "Okay, now that you tried it and you realized you liked it, you think it's cool now." Like, I, hey, I'll be honest. I've always drank them. 
I, I'm I'm glad. I respect you for that. And what is honestly, I've eight? been one of those hey. that wasn't saying like, oh, like actually serious when I said, oh fuck, like whenever I had to do a smear off ice because smear off ices are delicious too. So yeah, so are, sugary yeah. though. I feel like my teeth it gives gives me that like thing where you like rub your teeth together and it's like that's why the I seltzers have right don't have much sugar. It was like two three grams. I don't know, but you just asked. You asked. What? Yeah. What did you just say? You said there ain't, ain't no, no laws, laws when, when you're, you're drinking, drinking claws. claws. That's just, yeah. <laughs> ain't no laws. <laughs> That's funny. Oh wait, I can't do it. it sounds like a water droplet. <laughs> sounds like the intro for a commercial. Ain't no laws, baby. Ain't no laws. I'm insecure about the sounds I can make my, with my I mouth. I know I can't I do like the. I can't do the. I feel like everybody can make cooler sounds with their mouth. I can't do it. Here. I just. I can do this, but it's really loud. I'm moving my mic away. <laughs> I can do that. That's I can, I can, sorry to one up you guys. I mean, it, it's just something I can do. <laughs> so fun. Okay, we need it. Name of this podcast uh, is going to be Squirt and Face Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored it's, by Squirt. It's decided. I'll add it to my notes right now. Oh, my face it. hurts from that. You have a very elastic face. Yeah, I do. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> for our beauty, for our viewers that are only on the audio version. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a weird ASMR. Yeah, I, I, I like I said, I wanted that. Five dollars for anybody that can put their mouth all the way around here. Actually, don't do it. I, I don't. I don't. People, other try. people will use this later on. So, I've tried it before. It's hard. I can't do it. That's what she can, said. You fit, can you can you put your fist <laughs> in your mouth? Nice. What that mouth do? <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. No, I can probably put your fist I in my mouth. Your fist is so small. I have that extreme. is a small fist. That's the smallest fist. I have like baby hands and feet. It's like she's, ridiculous. She's got man hands. I have man hands. Well, you have tiny ass. No, I don't. Hands. I ha I have. You do have Look, stubby I've fingers. <laughs> yeah, he I does. Have calluses. You said Trump hands. <laughs> Chode hands. Oh, chode <laughs> hands. Oh, they said Trump hands. You got chode hands. <laughs> I honestly, I have small hands for like. Wow, they're us. almost the same. I know. Look at us. Aww. Do I have the biggest hands in this room? No, my. Okay, yeah. Inch you my got nose. nails. Yeah. <laughs> or is they like the same size? No. Yeah, you should be like no. six five. No. I want. I want to see. Uh oh. You have really small hands. I know. I, I really used to be very insecure about my big hands. I'm very insecure about my small hands. I tell everyone this, but me and my dad have the exact same hands. He's your hand twin? He's my hand twin. <laughs> he has his nails this done. This hand, like there's you. twice. There's big money in that. <laughs> Kick. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's what does that mean? You and your dad have, like, same size hands? No, like, our hands I, and, like, I our thumbs. Look identical ex hand twin. <laughs> they just look exactly the same. Really? Yeah. So, like, I was Good always really insecure to get, like, my nails done because I was afraid I was going to look like my dad with, like, fingernails, um. with, like, painted nails. So then I was like, maybe if I just get them done, I'll feel, like, a little bit more feminine. So I got them done for the first time in April, and I've been able to go back since. So, well. It's only been since April? I have, Yeah. You Me. got your nails done in April, and they still... No, <laughs> like the first time I ever got them done oh. was in April. Oh, oh, okay, That's okay. That's really okay. the first time you ever got your nails done? Mm -hmm. See, I don't go... Girl trying new things. I don't go to get my nails Whoa. done because and now I... that's an expensive hobby. I bite my nails, like, super bad, We're and I thought I would grow... Stuff. Yeah, no, I, like, will just rip the acrylics off. It's terrible, but the people... That's why I get the dip. The people These are the my real I nails, do, honey. I will... Oh, no. Mm. Honey? I, um... I'm impressed, but the people at the nail salon will literally yell at me. They'll be like, stop biting your nails. And I'm like, I'm sorry, like, you're not going to make a difference on this habit I've had for my entire life. Like, <laughs> and then the first I time I went, I was just like, that's good. Yeah. It's I'd good. get a pedicure. That's I need to get my toes done. But my toes are rough. 
A mobile podcast where we go and get our nails done. Guys, we just like yeah. we already have like two more episodes set out. Like, mm, love that, <laughs> amazing. That would actually be relaxing. I don't know. I'm it is. They have massage great. chairs if you go to yeah. the right spot. They have the sugar scrub. Sounds. They like rub it on your calves and your feet. Oh, is that sugar? I didn't know what it was. Yeah, sugar scrub. Yeah. I didn't really That's ask what the guy. That makes it gritty. He, he asked me. So he looked at my feet when he was doing my feet. It was this little guy. And he was like, <laughs> "Little guy." He was like, like a kid? "You play soccer?" And I was like. Yeah, and he's like, your feet look gross. And I said, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and he was like, I like soccer. I said, me too. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm going to go back to watching American Ninja Warrior. Because, <laughs> like, I guess they turned it on the second I walked in, and I was like, all right. There oh, my gosh, every time nice. I go into my nail salon, they always have, like, 2005 episodes of American Idol. Like, one day I watched the season with Jordan Sparks on it. No Ooh. way. It was... It was great. Hey, I saw Clay spoiler again. alert. Was that the same? She won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You ruined it, man. Do you remember Clay Aiken? I love Clay Aiken. Wait, is that the same season with Senjaya? I don't remember. Do you guys remember Senjaya? Yeah, I remember was the, the name. He was the... Um, he was I, really bad, and everybody just kept voting him on. Some, uh, I I forgot what he did though. So like David, there was Cook. something. It was like a meme almost. David like people Cook were was voting him on just because they found he it was funny. Fun. Wait, who? David Cook. He was from Blue Springs, Missouri. What is uh? He was like he had gray hair. He's kind of older. Hey, he was you good. Him. He really wasn't good, but like no, okay, no, he was a performer, of which was else. everyone's. No, David Cook, he joined a band, though, didn't he? Did he? I don't know what he's doing he had, now. He had a couple big hits. He didn't win it. He See the guy like, no, he won. Gotta David Cook won. Gotta live like we're dying. You're thinking of Daughtry. No, I'm thinking of Chris <laughs> Daughtry, yeah. Different. What did Daughtry? Chris Daughtry, right? Yeah. Isn't he that won, the, right? like, intro song to the... No, Chris Daughtry didn't win. He but didn't but win. isn't the intro song to American Idol... Is he second? A Daughtry song? He was, like, second or third, I'm but like, he was more home. popular than the... To the place where I'm <laughs> so he was more popular than he was more popular than the yeah. winner. Okay, yeah. he was my favorite guy to like come out of American Auto. Idol. I Auto. Auto. American Auto, the new show. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jennifer Hudson. We're gonna fix them co- trucks up. Slay. No. The yes. Kelly Clarkson. No. Kelly Clarkson Jennifer is Hudson the original. Was kicked off yes, of American queen. Idol, and then she was on Dream Girls, and Simon Cowell was like, "I'm sorry for kicking you off." She was like, "Damn straight." No. Um, her Clarkson. and Dream Girls. You guys know who I'm talking about? Have you seen Dream Jennifer Girls? Hudson? Yeah. I don't even know who that is. She is amazing. Oh, she has such a great voice. So powerful. She David uh, Jennifer Hud daughter. No. Oh, did you see what I did there? <laughs> Jennifer Hud cousin. <laughs> Twice removed. <laughs> Jennifer. What was that? Jennifer Hud, awkward uncle. See, that's what I was trying to yeah. sing. It's similar Wait, to the, the tune. This is Daughtry, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. saying. He didn't win. But he has the, the he song is. on American Idol. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is good music. That's good music. I yeah. honestly love Daughtry. Yeah. yeah. Daughtry's good. Oh, wait. David Archuleta had a hit, That's too. who I was thinking of. Oh. I was like... Was he gay? Mm-hmm. Is Didn't he seem... Wait, was there another that's... David? There was a da- like a two they David were a sexy year. chick or sexy I liked, bitch? I liked Archuleta? Adam Lambert. Wasn't he... Um, that's David Guetta. That <laughs> 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 was close. Same. A sexy. Ch- oh, I know. I think I know a song. Okay, guys, but Clay Aiken. Why do I not know who that is? Like, I know the name, oh, but why do I know? Turn it off. Was this the same year of American Idol? Oh, we're no, to Invisible by Clay Aiken. You guys should fight. Oh, I remember this song. I remember this song. Oh, we got to combine these now. I'm overwhelmed. Clay Aiken was gay, right? Yeah, he's 100%. Okay. Okay. There's no way he's not. Oh, uh, he's. Wow, I didn't, I didn't know what he looked like, but yeah, he's definitely a little. This song was in um, Without a Paddle. Whatever. Set free is pulling up to work. Okay, well. No one beats. Kelly Clarkson, Kelly the original. Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson, I care. No, honestly, I, I I like Kelly Clarkson. I think she, her, Carrie Underwood, Daughtry, 
Those are my number, uh, my top three. Who's the Who's the guy who competed who competed against Carrie Underwood? Oh shit, she's a winner, wasn't she? Carrie Underwood won, yeah. Oh, but no there was way. a guy that competed against her who like had like cancer or something. It was he had some story behind him. Is he like cooked or anything now? I'm really interested. Huh? American Idol. You That's know, I'm funny. just we like I don't have I don't have the credentials to be speaking about this because I don't really remember much. Oh really? I, I grew up watching it. That was like one of the few shows like it was really it was it. a family gathering every like, night or every Wednesday, that whatever it was. Cover? No. It's crazy how viral American Idol was. Yeah. Honestly. I do love Honestly, Simon Cowell. I, I hate American I Idol. I love Simon Cowell. Randy Jackson. <laughs> Randy Jackson is something else. I love him. Yeah, he was a good guy. Yeah, that's going to be a no for me, dog. Do you guys? I have a... Have you seen... <laughs> I know. You weren't around during um, Christmas time. I have a Randy Jackson. <laughs> I have a Randy Jackson sweater. It said it's gonna be a hoe from me, dog. And it's a Christmas sweater. That's He's wearing amazing. a Christmas hat. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I neat. I got it from Gary of, from Teen Mom's Twitter account. <laughs> How specific? <laughs> I love Gary from Teen Mom. Shout Mom's. out Gary from Teen Mom. <laughs> Gary from Teen Mom has the best tweets. Gary from Teen Mom, if you're listening to this, uh, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> the greatest winner from American Idol is Clay Aiken. I was gonna say either Kelly Wait, Clarkson. I don't or think he won. Kelly Clarkson or Carrie Underwood are the number one. Like, yeah. Things that. Does Did Jordan Sparks win? One, Jordan two. Sparks won, correct? Jordan Sparks won, but like she that? really didn't do anything other than that no first album and the big yeah. time rush. Okay, but one step at a time. Was like whenever I, I was. No air was a good one with Chris Brown. Whenever I was little, I used to jump on a trampoline and listen to the radio. And every time No Air came on, like that was like my pump up song. Yeah. You're like, in the air. Why yeah. do you guys think that she was show also in Big Time Rush too? Wh why do you guys she think that show got so popular? What show? Like, oh, like <laughs> American Idol. Yeah. Why do you think it got so popular? <laughs> it was the first of its kind. Yeah, I think so. it yeah. really was. So yeah, the reason like, why like I think the voice got as popular, the voice was huge. The voice when, was huge. When like the chairs that turn around and everything, like it literally like killed. 2013, Ameri 2014, 2015. That was the reason why American Idol died. Like is the American voice. Idol, I was American Idol was already on its downward slope, and then the voice came out and it was already gone. Like, yeah, and I feel like now it added a realism to the auditions. I'm trying to figure out. So like it added like uh, we're gonna pick you because of your voice. We don't care who you are, what you look like, or yeah. anything like that. But so. I think one of the reasons that American Idol was so great in the early seasons was because, like, they just let anyone try out, and they had all the, like, joke tryouts, and that, like, was funny. Like, that was hilarious. That like, was my favorite part. The auditions yeah. were the best part. Yeah, like, that was, like, oh, for like, sure. that was, like, that was, like, because it was, that was, like, the whole thing was people going on there and just, like, being Pants funny. on the ground. Pants <laughs> on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants, pants on, on the, the ground. ground. Wait, it was uh something. We like when that ooh baby she move she move ah uh, what is it? She, oh she bang she, she bang, bang. <laughs> or yeah. something like that yeah. Yeah, it was like she bang she bang. Forgot you him. Do you guys not remember? No, that? I know I I don't remember that, but my roommate literally references that constantly to the point where I know what you're talking about. It is funny though. William Hong. <laughs> Do you think anybody went in there and just trolled? Just yeah. trolled? There had to be. This guy. Now this part. This was an American Idol. Was this an audition? Sounds like a Gemini. We're talking about astrology. <laughs> I love astrology. This is a really long song. Yeah. I think it's coming out. Are you literally scrolling through Twitter right now? She's looking for Gary from Teen Mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to find a good, I wanted to find a good tweet. No. Do you think it was that a original? 
No, this wasn't the original. No, oh, but was that like, was the original like? Never that mind. was the song that he sang. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I think he actually made it into a, an actual song. Was it an? What did Bold. he? Did he Bold. sing it original? Like, was it an original that he sang at his ad- audition? Oh, I don't know. You were you were saying this just reminded me about it. You were talking about how um, like you asked if they like said anyone ever went on and just like trolled. Uh, okay, this is really unrelated, but so I follow a lot of meme accounts on Instagram. I that uh-huh. person and the Slim Jim official page, like official Slim Jim page, literally trolls all the meme accounts, and it's like the one comment that always comes up. And it's just constantly, like, every single one. And I'm like, how does this official Slim Jim account following all these meme accounts and managing to comment dumb shit on every single one of them? It's, like, stressing me out. I'm like, who has this job? Who's doing this? Like, why is it the only comment showing up for me? It's there, just really stressful. There's a guy, if you follow Dave Portnoy and you go through his, like, comments, one of the guys is, like, he's, like, a Dodge Diesel. Like, that's, like, his tagline. <laughs> And he literally, like, no matter what it is, he says, like, something like, yeah, that's almost as cool as when a, a Cummins spools up <laughs> at the end of the road. Like, it is literally, like, every tweet that Dave Portnoy does. So, like, it's the same exact yeah. thing where, like, he sits there and waits for, like, Barstool or Dave Portnoy to tweet. And, like, he just comments on it and says something about Dodge Diesels. <laughs> <laughs> I love it's that. I love that people thing. can dedicate that much time to sticking to something like that. You wonder if they put their mind to something important. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone follow Trash Can Paul on Instagram? It's the worst account. Don't it's follow so it. funny. It is the worst it's account. It's the stupidest, funniest thing. Can I pull it up? I'll give a little gander. I think it mm. might be private. It's private. I'll pull it up. Setting. Wait, why is it private? Yeah, because so they put it. so much. Why, stuff. why is it? Uh, why is it cookie? Why is it flour? Oh. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> you also like Grape Juice Boys. Grape Juice Boys. Is I also follow funny. Grape Juice Boys. Okay, literally, Trash Can Paul is like Grape Juice Boys, but funnier. <laughs> Which I no. think is possible. Yes. Yes, it is. It's like another language right now. Trash Can Paul is so funny. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh. That's our account. Let's take a little look, see here. Trash can. Well, Paul. I'll show this one that my friend posted earlier. I, okay, just so everyone knows and has this on record, the moth meme, the moth lamp meme, was my favorite meme that has ever come into existence. Ew. <laughs> look at this. It's Parmesan cheese bumps. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> So it's basically just a meme account, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. It's great. I love that. I've always, honestly, one of my bigger dreams in life is to become a meme account. To be able to, like, create original memes. I know that's, like, you know, but I would love to do that. How do you do that? Is there, like, a meme generator? I don't know. I. It's just. There has to be an app for that. It's like being a, yeah. There's an app for that. <laughs> it's just like being a, I don't, I don't know, but I just, I would love to do that. And just, like, have no one know that it was my account and just become, like, huge and be like, maybe I'm Trash Cam Paul. Maybe that's <laughs> me. But that would be so great. I like uh, white people humor. That's a pretty good one because it just makes one of white people humor. <laughs> I think. Do you follow that one? Maybe. I follow something similar. I think it's, like, on Twitter I find, like, a or I follow something that's, like, like just it's probably They're probably the same account. Yeah, and yeah. And they, like, I also like uh, The Tasteless Gentleman. They're pretty good too. Tasteless gentlemen. I've so definitely heard of that one. I can't think. I've of sent what you it a is. bunch of shit from that. Okay, that's <laughs> probably what it is then. And then Barstool, Fuck Jerry is pretty good. I follow Fuck Jerry too. And then I watched the documentary on Fuck Jerry. Same. Fuck Jerry. You saw cool. that oh. on on uh, Netflix? Netflix? Yeah, yeah, those little short documentaries yeah. about the social media people. Those are interesting. That's crazy. I love those documentaries about you social know, media. He was really influential influential with uh, Fire Festival. <laughs> Oh Jerry my god! Was. Yeah, the really? fire he festival. He was he was literally one of the like the the promoters of fire festival, and he got fired like right before it actually started. Really That's crazy. Yeah, if you watch the fire festival documentary, he was like. Which one, the Netflix or the Hulu? The Netflix. It's really a controversy. It's a controversy. No, I'm just kidding. And so he was like, I guess like in the end stages of it, he was like, literally, you got to refund tickets. This is not good, and they said. 
we're not refunding tickets, you're fired. And then they, like, cut him, him. They cut it out from, like, everything. And then, like, he wasn't associated at all with Fire Festival <laughs> after that. But, like, because you know that there's, like, a lawsuit filed against, like, all the influencers from. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? There's a Have lot you watched of stuff either of those documentaries? Yeah, I've seen the one on Netflix. Yeah, what me I mean, too. Fantastic. Like, how, uh, why fantastic. would they? Fantastic. So, say. Say you're a model for Gatorade, and then all of a sudden that Gatorade that you're promoting ends up poisoning people. Well, you didn't know that. You were just promoting it. Like, yeah, that you're does. Just, you're just chasing a paycheck. That sucks yeah, exactly. for anyone like, who isn't the actual people who are in charge of, like, giving refunds or actually putting this shit together. Like, just the people, like, that were there. Like, that's. But, I mean, like, that's the best. That is the best comparison I can yeah, give it. Because yeah, they exactly. had Because they made that that video or that like whatever you want to call it that ad like months in advance yeah that, that promotion yeah. months in advance before anything actually happened and they actually thought that something was going to happen when they how bought would that they ad- possibly know yeah yeah that's, like, how would they that's it, ridiculous it sucks because there was a, a very small amount of people actually making the decisions and calling the shots that like they were all idiots they were yeah. just trying to make a quick buck like the the problem with it all is they bought the island. It was it's a great idea. And the the problem is they ruined it for everyone else. Yeah. Like so I remember there was a there's a music festival starting up. I think it's in California. It it's it's somewhere Oh, is it a, called Coachella perhaps? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> no, it was it like it's a new coach? no, it's <laughs> No, it's it's a new it's a it's Lake? a new music festival <laughs> and it came up and they were like this might be another fire festival we're not sure like they were like they signed all these bands but we've never heard of this mu- music festival so we're not sure if it's like another fire festival or not like all this stuff so they're just quick to that reject sucks, it though, because there are a, a every lot new of music I, festivals well so now every every new music festival to come into it they're all assuming that it's going to be a flop because of fire festival or are they just placing more restrictions in the way i i think that they have more caution when they when it comes to music festivals now uh, it's probably not necessarily the worst thing in the world it's not the worst thing but it's not the best thing yeah so if you and yeah. i wanted to start a music festival here at msu like it's gonna and be then a bring lot. the pod and to it and no it's so gonna be it's <laughs> no pod it, fest no i'm just saying like it's gonna be a lot harder like i yeah. uh, you and i both don't have the capital <laughs> like fun to you might have we, <laughs> we make it more exclusive, kind of. Yeah. Well. Okay. Uh, we could, we could bring Waka Flocka here, but that's probably about it. <laughs> he can he can sing no hands, and that would be it. One liners. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. But Roscoe Dash made that song too. So yeah. My, we're still my, scared. My we're friend scared. at a Waka Flocka concert like got on stage and had to, like a security person like lifted her off. No, like set her down. <laughs> Waka was at my school, and he performed in our gym in college. And I had him around my arm, and we were dancing around the crowd. Oh my god, that's like, so cute! Our whole crowd was like swaying, and I was like, my arm was around him, and his arm was around me, and so we basically just went around the whole crowd right. together. Honestly, I got hit in the face so many times with his dreads, like I felt abused, <laughs> but <laughs> like black eye afterwards. But wait, how old was this? I was like, I think I, was, shit, I was only twenty at the time. This was the day before my twentieth birthday. So you were ni- nineteen. I was at nineteen. The time. Yeah, sorry. Wait, wait, what was he? What was he at? He went he to your college. Yeah, he went to my college in Decatur. No shit, really. He didn't actually go there, but he went and performed there. Oh right. yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. It's that's like when I met Hoodie cool. Allen. Oh. No, no, Hoody this Allen. is completely different. Like I was. <laughs> I was actually okay, I like, didn't go to the Hoodie I Allen actually concert. touched, I actually I, touched him. I touched Hoodie Allen. We shook hands through the car window. That's bullshit. That's no, so this weird. happened. Her story changes literally every <laughs> no, time. No, it she tells doesn't. It. No, it does not. Yeah. So I was with my friend, her boyfriend, and we were going to Taco Bell because my friend, my friend's boyfriend, got a text saying that Hoodie Allen was at Taco Bell. So I was like, we gotta go. I'm gonna meet Hoodie Allen. And so then we get there. We were just kind of like rolling around, like. Just like scoping it out, we didn't see him anywhere, so we're like, okay, it's fine. Like he's gone already. Like he left, and then we were pulling out, and we're like, we were on the corner of like Cherry and National, <laughs> and then my friend's boyfriend like looked over him, and she was like, or he was like, that's Huddy Allen, and I was like, no, it's not. He was and in a '97 uh, Corolla. No, he was <sighs> nice, 
black like escape looking car, but it was definitely magic. Typical. Escape. <laughs> um, but and so then my yeah, escalate. Friend, so then my friend's boyfriend started like taking a video of him and all this stuff, and he like rolled his window down, and he was like, "Hey." And then I rolled my window down, and my uh, and friend's boyfriend. And she said, boyfriend, hey, and then they made out hey. for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and never to talk again. And then I rolled my window down, and then my friend's boyfriend was like, this is Maddie. And he was like, nice to meet you, and like, stick his hand like, out How the car formal. window. And I was like, hi. And he was like, we're like, all right, well, have a good night. And like, that was literally it. That was the only interaction. But I did touch Joe Jonas's hand in fifth Ooh. grade. No shit. Yeah. That's when the JoJo brothers were big. That yes. when they had their purity rings on. Mm-hmm. Oh. That was whenever they were on tour with Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus. And my dad got tickets wait, to the Wait, wait, wait. Hannah Montana abs- and Miley Cyrus? Cyrus? No well, way. Do you Bro, think they had to pay her no twice? Fucking way. <laughs> no, Probably. Fucking, no fucking way. No fucking way. Had to pay her twice. <laughs> wait, what happened with her and Liam? Okay, I don't know, but I it makes me sad. Whatever, I love Miley Cyrus. I love Liam. It's whatever. It's and they've fine. been together forever. I know, but I I saw a headline on a magazine the other day, and it said why I left Liam for a girl or woman. I saw a different one that said like the drugs, the alcohol, the abuse. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> whoa, 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 there's two different album, like there's two different magazine covers. I feel like they yeah. are very different people, though. Yeah. She's well, very like out there and like maybe they're like the same person but like expose it in different ways. Well, on on her on her Instagram You never know what's what they're like behind exactly. closed doors. Exactly. But on her Instagram it really said like talks about the reason she was like, "Yeah, I've known him forever and I've like loved him forever and been with him forever, but I've changed." Like she mm-hmm. she just talked about she's like, "I'm a different person than I was whenever I met him." Like when she was 16. Yeah, she's like, "We are completely different people and that ha- like that happens. You grow, you change and you grow apart." And like she put this whole thing on her Instagram and I think that genuinely that's what it is. Like mm-hmm. people want to obviously like make it into this big scandal, but people just get divorced. Mm-hmm. And that just happened. Well, they, they weren't even married. Yeah, they then. were. Yeah. They, they were, were married. married. They've been married mm-hmm. for like 8 months. Oh. So it's like people just split up and that happens well, and like in 8 months, though, that seems like a split decision. That seems like something that you knew before you got married. Yeah, but but still. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't need to be on blast. I mean, I'm not the only reason why it's on blast is because she's famous. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, but they, like you could call it from the. So, this is my philosophy. If it doesn't work the first time, it's probably not going to work the second yeah. time. So, with them, they ended up breaking up. She went out. I think she was like the MTV Awards a lot, like a couple of years ago when she like stuck her tongue out and she was dancing on Robin Thicke. You guys know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that was like. Well, that was like two or three years. Yeah, that was like fifteen. That was like four years ago. Jesus, but um, she ended up like they broke up. You could tell that they're different people. I feel like he's a lot more reserved than she is, and you never know what they're like behind closed doors. But with celebrities, you have to act different. Especially celebrities, you have to act different outdoors. Yeah, like. As much as she wants to be reserved, she can't do that anymore because of what she did in the past. Yeah. Well, and she's not reserved any. She's not. Like, if you've seen, have you seen any of her new work? Like, her mother's daughter video? Mm-hmm. Like, she is just as what uh, non-reserved as she was before, but now she's doing it with a purpose. Like, back mm-hmm. then, she was doing it just because she was young just and make crazy. Just make a statement. And now she's doing it. Like, her mother's daughter video, like, I love it. It's a actually it's literally a social movement like it's a it's very political it's very like to the point like this is what i'm trying to get across and so she's always going to be that person but at least now i think she's doing it with purpose and so i think she's very different and changed but she's always going to be that person and he's always going to be him and i just think that even if it It is so his role in like the hungry Games, you know how he's like dating her like they were like love partners and then she went and did all that badass stuff and then like she comes back to him and he's still the same person but she's changed completely and she fell in love with someone else it's literally like his whole life is that movie oh my gosh yeah yeah that sucks that is yeah that sucks but yeah be like your brother be Thor yeah yeah what a guy Chris Hemsworth a fucking man yeah like he posts his workouts online and stuff. I'm like, that dude is a fucking beast. All the Avengers, though, like, um, whoever played Hela in uh, Thor Ragnarok, mm-hmm. she was literally talking about how, like, she auditioned and she got the part. 
And then she was like, oh, shit. Because literally, like, the next day after she got the part, she got her, like, training sheet of, like, what she has to do to get in shape for this. And she was like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's a lot of work to get, in, like, in shape for those Avengers movies and stuff. And you think that it's all steroids and everything like that. Which I'm not saying that they don't use steroids, but I don't think that they do just based on their workouts that they do. Now, I, I even if like they are, they're working hard. Yeah. And yeah like, they're working so hard. Like, that's my whole view on steroids. So... Steroids in baseball, steroids in any sports, like, you literally have to work out so hard for them to work. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to take steroids and be fucking jacked. Yeah, so like you're, <laughs> not, you're not going to take steroids and be Arnold, Armst- uh, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger, right, Arnold Armstrong. Which, by the way, today he lost his best friend, his lifelong best friend. Yeah, I saw that. Which, my buddy's a bodybuilder, and he posted a picture of him. Just the thought of Another losing one. somebody that... Two shots of vodka? Could you imagine being, like, lifelong good you buddies really do any counts, with somebody you? for, you like, 40 go for years? I just go with what feels good. It's really interesting I that literally you poured the squirt first. I huh? usually pour drink... I pour no alcohol first, and then I really? pour alcohol on top. Because so the alcohol pour, sinks. See, whenever I'm a bartender, I'll do alcohol first, then ice, then, like, whatever, soda. Well, that's because you can measure it better. Yeah, I just like to measure it. Uh, true, because you have the little nozzle. You go. I literally one, just two, I count three. That's yeah, one I shot. count one, two, three. Yeah, I do that. Well, see, so you don't have a little nozzle though, and I can't. Four, just five, six. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, <laughs> and sorry. Yeah, Continue. Yeah, this is. Okay. No, I have a friend who's a bodybuilder who po- his name's like Tyler O'Neill, right? Tyler Neal, maybe. Uh, are you talking about Ar- Arnold Schwarzenegger's friend? Sports. I don't think Sport, it was that. Sports Schwarzenegger. Schwartz, 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 Schwartz. No, but like, could you imagine Sports being lifelong tornado. friends with somebody for like forty years, like forty years, and then you just lose them one day? That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And then you become could the governor of California. Yeah. And then well, the Terminator. <laughs> and the kindergarten cop. Oh. Yeah, there's an old picture of those two <laughs> together, and they're huge. Mr. They are Freeze. Jacked. Yeah. No, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Have you seen Pumping Iron? No, I don't believe so. It's a documentary on Netflix. I don't know if it's still on there or not. I know Pumping Iron 2 is. But Pumping Iron 1, like, it literally shows Ar- Arnold, Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger while he's working out at the Venice Beach Golden, Golden, Gold's, Gold's Gym. Gym. I can't put a sentence together. Um, You're cut off. So he was like, there's a statement that he makes where he's like, I go to the gym because every time I work out, I feel fulfilled. And every time I work, he said something like, every workout I do, I get the same release. I get a release from every workout I do when I feel like I've done it. And he's like, that same release is what I feel like when I come. And so every workout I do, I feel like I come. So I come twice a day because I work out twice a day. Interesting. Yeah, so like... Poetic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's, like, uh, the dude is... Was that literally, a milk I mean, honey? <laughs> I don't know if he... I don't, I don't know. If, I guarantee he used steroids, but, like, I don't know if I guarantee. I've never heard working out compared to, like, orgasming. But I that's have. What it, but that's yeah. kind like of. What... It's the like... Endorphin it's can't relate. Yeah. Can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, he... I, I don't know. Like, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a cool dude. Like... Have you have you seen the other guys? Yeah, yeah. You know, there's like a whole part in the other guys where he goes. Uh, <laughs> it's like one of the first parts of the movie with Samuel L. Jackson where he's in there and he's like, "I'm a young orphan from Austria, and the family took me in." And then the guy in the background goes, "Arnold Schwarzenegger," and he goes, "And you know what? Uh, it's a long story. Arnold Schwarzenegger," and <laughs> he's like. Fuck! I'm just, I'm. You know what? We're got, we're having a drinks at the bar tonight. Cash bar. <laughs> Everybody come in. It's pretty funny. You guys aren't laughing. It sounds hilarious. You guys need to watch. <laughs> I, we would. I probably had to be there. <laughs> Get it. Like, All right. Yeah, cool okay. news, guys. <laughs> cool news. Uh, sports. Sports. <laughs> sports. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys want to wrap this up? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. We said it like three uh, times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we still chill on though. You say it, and then another topic comes up, and then it just explodes. We have nothing else to talk about. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> then it comes back up. Well, cool, cool. Thanks for doing this. This was Thank you. Thank you.